So for the W periosteal, which is a subperiosteal mattress with a twist, we have a model here that's been aggressively flapped so that we can get a little bit better visualization of what our actual bites are. So before we put any membrane or bone, we're going to do our buccal periosteal bites starting in the distal. So get your most distal bite first. So you can see we're just biting the periosteum. And then we can give our tail a little shorter here. And we're going to bite again for mesial. So where your first bite enters is going to be the position of one strap of the final suture, and where your last bite exits will be the position of the strap of your final suture. So we'll go a little bit more mesial. Have a good bite. And we're going to leave, intentionally leave, a loop between the two. Okay, so between the two bites, we're leaving a loop out. Now we're going to safely place this suture needle outside of the patient's mouth while we do our bone grafting and membranes. So we have our membrane here. So we'll go ahead and place our membrane wherever we're going to be doing our bone grafting, GBR, whatever. So we're happy with the position of that. Then we pick up our suture again. And we exit across from the last bite out the lingual. And this is kind of the mattress portion. So you'll see a strap will start to form over the front of our membrane. We're going to go right back in the lingual, adjacent to where we just came out. You could also do simple periosteal bites, though it is difficult on the lingual mandible. Okay, now before we do our second lingual loop, we're going to pass our needle through the loop that we left exposed. So we pass that through, and this will set, form our second strap. And we'll grab the original tail at this point and kind of tighten things up. Right, so now you'll see we have our mesial strap, our central strap, and we're going to do our last in and out on the lingual here, back where we started. So out the flap on the lingual, and back in. to our original tail from our first bite. Tighten everything up since it's a little bit difficult on the model. Okay. 
and this knot will also be thrown under the flap. So the only thing that will be exposed is the two lingual loops. here. We would have secured our membrane with one throw. And we pre-throw the buckle bites, which makes it easy because you don't have to fight your membrane and your bone graft while you're going for those. So that's the WP.